guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Southline District on My Predictions Part 2. So enjoy this video, and let's get right into it on, on My Predictions Part 2. Up first, we have KCSGP38. I feel like these units would be cool to have in the game, because especially since I caught 1906, which is the one that you're seeing right here on the screen, that's pretty much it for this production. Let's get on to the next one. The next one that should be added is a SD... 70 AH. These are really cool looking locomotives. They're just like the SC70 ACs, but different. And if the, if the developers watching this, please add this one into the game. That's pretty much it for this production. Let's get on to the next one. The next one should be CSX Y into SD40 2s. These ones would be really good to have in the game because I can remake the Crazy 8s incidents part 2. So, developer, if you're watching this, please add this kind of Y into paint scheme SD40 2 into the game. That's pretty much it for this production. And let's get into this next to the next one. Up next, we have the BNSF 25th Anniversary Unit. This would be a really cool looking Jeeva locomotive for 50 Robux as a game pass. So if you have 50 Robux out there, or if you have a lot of Robux, you might be able to afford it when it comes to the game. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this production. Let's get on to the next one. Up next, we have the KCS ET44 AC unit. This one it looks really cool. If this does come to Southline, that'd be really cool. This would be a really good looking locomotive in the game. And it's Kansas City, Southern Louisiana, too. But that's pretty much it for this production, so let's get on to the next one. Up next, we have a KCS AC44CW. I like AC44CWs. They are my favorite locomotives because they roar like 777 from Unstoppable. And these would be really good, a really good KCS unit to be in the game. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this production. Let's get on to the next one. Now we have a KCS Gregor's AC44CW. Like I said, I already like AC44CWs. Now... Developer, if you're watching this, please add this as a Game Pass exclusive for 100 Robux. This would be a really good exclusive Game Pass. And anyways, that's pretty much it for this production. So let's get on to the next one. Now we have a KCS SC70 AC Gregos. This would be a really good, a really good one as well. And it's a Kansas City, Southern Louisiana. So developer, if you're watching this, like I am, like I'm gonna say it again, add this as a Game Pass with the KCS AC44 CW Gregos for 100 Robux. This would be really two good exclusives, so that's pretty much it for this production. Let's get into the next one. The next one we have is Union Pacific 1979. We are one unit. This one should be added into the game as a as a free heritage unit because it looks really cool. I would really love if this one was in the game. And it's a Mac. So developer, if you're watching this, add this one into the game as the next one. That's pretty much it for this production. Let's get on to the next one. The next we have the SD70 AC rebuild with the new paint scheme. This would be great with with the flagless one AC6000 and the AC44 one so this would be a really cool one to see in the game and that's pretty much it for this production let's get on to the next one now for this one it's also another new paint scheme but it's a Jeevo so developer if you're watching this please add the brand new paint scheme Jeevo locomotive of Union Pacific and this would be a really cool one to see in game and that's pretty much it for this production let's get on to the last one now this is the last one, Union Pacific 409, the hydra, the hybrid unit. I feel like this would be a really cool one for a game pass. So developer, if you're watching this, please add this one as a exclusive game pass. And that's pretty much it for this production video. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.